All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create these really cute double-sided personalized thank you notes or custom thank you notes using nothing but Microsoft Word, Paint, and a browser. And this is actually what they look like. I just wanted to show you that they were actually double-sided, so I, I um, um, did that. But these are what they look like printed out. And again, typically when I print these out, I'll print them out on stock paper. And you can purchase stock paper at Staples, Office Max, Target. Um, it's pretty readily available, but again, this is what they look like and they are actually double-sided, okay? So let me go ahead and show you how you can create these. Oh, before we do that, I did want to point out that I do have a YouTube channel, Printables with Microsoft Word, and I have uh, multiple different videos on here, everything from creating candy bag toppers to tickets to um, chalkboard posters, uh, but more importantly, I have a video called Searching Fonts and Font Installing Fonts and Using Symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. Um, you will need to install custom fonts in order to um, make these exactly the way they look. But again, the whole point of this is you can create your own custom cards, so please feel free to make any changes to colors, fonts, notes, text, whatever you want. Okay, this is just showing you sort of how you can create these double-sided um, thank you notes. So we're gonna go ahead and say File, New, Blank Document. Okay, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do Insert Blank Page, because this is actually gonna be two pages. Again, this is gonna be the front, and this is gonna be the back, okay? Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to do insert table and we want it to be two rows. And we're going to go ahead and click on here and we're going to click on table properties and we're going to click on row and we want to make this four and the column we want to make 5.5. And this is a very standard size for thank you notes and for envelopes is the four by five and a half. Um, I have a number of thank you notes in my house and again, they all um, are, are this size. So we're gonna go ahead and go to um, home. And again, while this is selected, we know it's selected because we see this little X up here or this little plus sign. We're gonna go ahead and center, center this, there we go. All right, so now this is centered, we're gonna do a couple things. The first thing I wanna show you of what we're gonna do is if you look down here, um, you can clearly see the separation between one note to the other. And the reason why we have a little space there is to give forgiveness when you're actually cutting these. Um, if you use a paper cutter to cut any sort of stationery or, or any printables that you do, um, you need a little forgiveness um, you know, because of the cut if you don't wanna cut into one of the cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can do that now. We're gonna go ahead and click on this, and again, we see that little um, plus sign, and we want to left click, and once again, click on Table Properties. We wanna click on Table, and we wanna click on Options, and we wanna do Allow Spacing Between Cells, and we wanna kick that up to 0.03, okay? So now we have a little forgiveness. But now we also want to not have that ugly black border. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Borders and Shading, and we're gonna click on this really light gray, and you could even click on a lighter gray if you want. And what we wanna do is we want to unselect um, the table borders around that. And again, if you saw that, it was just the table borders around that. And we can click OK and OK, okay? And now we just have that very light gray around that table. From here, we can do a copy and go down to the second page, and we can do a paste. Okay, and again, how I did that copy paste was I left clicked and I did copy, and then I went down here and I did right click and paste. So now we have the outline of the front and the back of the thank you cards. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a shape and we're going to insert a square and we're just going to put it anywhere on there. We want to make it one inch by one inch, which is perfect. Now, if you know what colors you want to use, that is fantastic. Um, I happen to be horrible at picking out um, colors. So what I like to do is go to Google. If you like to use Bing or Yahoo, use whatever search engine you like. But I'm going to type in color scheme feminine web because I want a girly color scheme and I want it to be web-based colors. Now if you don't put the word web in, um, it'll a lot of times just bring up pictures of rooms and ideas and what you actually want are the actual colors themselves. So we're gonna go ahead and right click and we're gonna do a save picture as, and it's already saved in our thank you cards, um, but we're just gonna go ahead and, and save it again. And then we're gonna go ahead 
and open up Microsoft Paint. Okay, now if you have Microsoft Word, you typically have Microsoft Office, so you should have Paint. And we're gonna do File, Open, and we wanna open up our colors. Now from here, what you can do is you can go ahead and select here, which is called the Color Picker. Okay, when you do that, you can go ahead and select, let's say on this pink color here, and then you can go ahead and click on Edit Colors. And then you could type in, or then you um, write down 255, 204, 203. Okay, write down those numbers or whatever numbers you want to use for the color schemes you want. Okay, then you're going to want to go to the color picker and you're going to want to do the same thing to the purple. Edit colors, get the 96, 59, 76, and you're going to want to do the same thing for this beige color. And you're going to click on edit colors and you get the 198, 192, 168. Okay, once you have those numbers written down, we're going to go back to Microsoft Word and we're going to do a shape fill and you can click on more colors. And then from here, you can type in those numbers that you have written down. And um, I actually didn't write them down, but I have them saved already. <laughs> um, and once you have them saved, they're going to show up here in the color scheme. So we're going to go ahead and click on this purple. And then the shape outline was the pink. And we want to do the weight of that as a four and a half point font. Okay, so again, I hope you saw how you did that. Again, you can always just do the more outline colors, go to the custom colors, and there's the 255, 204, 203, right? Um, next thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box, and we're going to draw a text box, and we're going to go here. And of course, we don't want this ugly white text box with the black border, so we want to do um, click on the format, ensure that this text box is selected, ensure format, do a shape fill of no fill, a shape outline of no outline, and we want to write, my name is Tracy, so I'm going to write a T, and I want to make this a white, and I want to make this a 52 point font, and I used Bell MT. Again, you can use whatever font you want, um, I just happen to like this look, okay? Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box. We want to draw a text box and we want to do, thank you, period. And once again, we don't want this ugly text box around it, so we do a shape fill of no fill, a shape outline of no outline. We want to highlight the text. We want to go back to home. Now the font I used for this is Passport. I love that font. And we want to make this a 48 point font, and we want to center this, okay? Um, and then finally, we want to have this sort of beige chevron print down below. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go back up to Google, and we can type in beige chevron. And we want to go ahead and click over here onto images. Right below that search bar is images. And this was the gray or the beige chevron. We want to do save picture as. I already have it saved, but you know, you could save it wherever you want. And then we want to go ahead and do an insert picture. And we want to do our beige chevron. Now from here, you can click on the layout options up on the left hand side and say in front of text or you can click on the format tab and do wrap text and then you want to do in front of text okay um, first thing you want to do though is you want to make this um, a 5.5 because that is the width and then what we want to do is we want to click on crop and when you click on crop, you see these black sort of edges. You want to move your mouse so it looks like that little T. And then you want to move it all the way up till you can see sort of the bottom of your card. And then you can move it over. Now, you know this image is selected because you see the little white boxes. From here, you can use the arrow keys to move it around in a very fine grained fashion. Okay. And then finally, um, I wanted to go through and insert 
a shape and I want to insert a line and again you saw that I just did the line hold down insert line hold down the shift key and move it all the way over and holding down the shift key is basically going to ensure that it's straight which is what you want and then from here um, I used this pink color again and I made the weight of this a three point font okay now let's say you want to copy this and move this down to here you can simply click on the T hold down the shift key and click on all of the different objects from here while you're holding down the shift key you can left click do a copy and then right click and do a paste okay and then we can move these over. Okay, move this over, move this over. And my chevron didn't. And I just did a control C and a control V. So if you hold down the CTRL button and press C, that's a shortcut for copying and CTRL V, it's a shortcut for pasting. You can just move this over and move this down. So now you have the front of your thank you cards. Okay. Um, now you wanna create the back of the thank you cards. Okay, so what I did for that was I did an insert, and I did a text box, and I do a draw text box, and right up here I just did a, and you want to do a shape fill of no fill, of course, and a shape outline of no outline, of course, for that text box, a little note of thanks, and I made this passport, and I made this a 14 point font. And you can, once again, copy and paste. And you wanna move this down. And then you want to left justify. And I just wrote my name right down there. Okay. And then finally what I did was I went ahead and selected this, hold down the shift key and select this and then you want to do a copy and then I went here and I did a paste and I moved this in the middle and I went to here oops, and I selected this box and I clicked on format and for the shape fill I did more colors and I made it 75% transparent so you could see through it. And again, you could keep the pink, it's light enough pink, or if you wanted to, you could also do a shape outline of more fill colors and you could make that, you know, either a 25 or you could make it the full 75% as well. It kind of is up to you and what your printer looks like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a 50%. And then you can go ahead and press Control C or you can right click and say copy and go down here and you can do paste move this once again in the middle and then press control C control C and then paste those in there and that's it that's how you can create those now when you print so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to print the first side the thank you and then you want to put it in your printer um, this way with sort of the, 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 the top facing you or facing out of the printer and um, you're gonna wanna print one page at a time. So when you do that, you're gonna go up here and you're gonna go, I'm um, sorry, this one. You're gonna first click on here and you're gonna say file, print, and you wanna say current page. That's it. And then you're gonna print that one current page. You're gonna put it in your printer like this and then you're gonna go down to Oops, cancel. You're gonna to go to the next page 
and then you're going to say print current page and then print that page. If you want to make you know 30, 40, 50 um, different cards, you could easily just print this one, you know, um, 15 times. If you want to make 30 cards, print this one 15 times, and then go ahead and put them all in the printer upside down as to where they look like this, and then just print that second page 15 times. And then you have 30 personalized um, thank you cards that you've created yourself. I hope this has been helpful, and again, if you um, did find this helpful, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, um, keep an eye out for additional videos. I'm in the process of moving states, so my videos are coming out very slowly. I apologize um, for those of you that have been subscribed for a long time, um, but they will start uh, coming out a lot more often coming up here um, after summer. Thanks so much, and I do monitor the chat lines. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write out a question. Thanks.